stomach nine, stomach ten. And what we're actually doing is there is a nerve here, okay, which is a carotid nerve, which is by the carotid artery. And the way to find it is someone's Adam's apple is there, and it's just at the side. If John turns his head, it's at the um, sternal colloidal mastoid. Sternal mastoid, okay. I've never said that bloody word, okay. So it, it runs there. Now some pupils are more pronounced. You could probably see mine is a lot more pronounced than John's. And this is why it's important to work on lots of different body types so you can get on these points. Don't do this, but if you do a strike to him on the side there, what it will do is it will trick the body to saying, oh, my blood pressure's really high and I need to lower it. And that way the person will faint or be knocked out. So you see a lot of people getting knocked out in seminars with this particular strike. It's a bit of a trick of the body. It must be done with a heavy blow, okay, not a snapping blow. Okay? Please don't do this just to see what's going to happen because if you do it hard this way and you twist slightly wrong, you could do some permanent damage, especially around the track here. here. So it's important that you, you can get, you just boom that way and you'll, you'll get a little reaction. I'm not going to do it hard to John because there's absolutely no need at all. And again, you would revive in the same way with the wake-up nerve on the back. If I've struck on the right side, I will then wake him up on the left side, as I explained earlier. As I said, please don't do it in practice because it really isn't, it's not good for you.